breakfast on the flat top this morning and I'm gonna show you how to utilize certified Angus beef ground beef using two sausage recipes. It's so easy and it's all about the spice mixture, but beef sausage, hello? Let me show you what I'm doing. We have taken one pound of ground beef and we've turned it into the most delicious breakfast sausage with a certain mixture of spices and a little bit of flat top action. This is going to make anybody happy, whether you be camping, on a road trip, you can do this on a tiny grill on the back of your truck for crying out loud. Hitting on this spice mixture that makes ground beef sausage, it's really important. We have some chili for a little heat, salt and pepper already in here. We have cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, and then granulated garlic and onion, and a little bit of brown sugar just for that little bit of sweetness, and everything caramelizes really well with brown sugar, so it's delicious. But the star of the show is sage. I'm using dried sage today. You can use fresh, but the dried sage is so aromatic. She goes into my spice mixture. This is what gives it that real breakfast aroma. It's gonna smell delicious in here. Give this a little stir. Break up that brown sugar. Divine. Good morning. Good morning is what it says. So this is my 75% lean certified Angus beef ground beef. Spice mixture right on top and work this in really well. Yeah, I'm looking to make sure that I don't see any clumps of dried spices, making sure it's really evenly um, distributed throughout this ground beef. And this looks delightful. You can see the chilies, you can see the brown sugar mixed throughout. So then you're just gonna form four balls out of this. It's really easy to measure that way. So I'm just gonna eyeball as best I can. So much flavor with the certified Angus beef ground beef. And then the way we're gonna smash these gives the edges a really great texture, kind of crisps up the edges. I'm gonna put a little bit of beef tallow on my flat top because of course we are. To prepare for your smashing, you can also give a little tallow kiss to the bottom of your very heavy duty smash spatula you're gonna use. And you can get this gorgeous spatula at shop.certifiedangusbeef.com. I'm gonna place my breakfast sausage balls onto the screaming hot side of my flat top. And I'm gonna tell you that as we do this, let that sizzle and let that sear a little bit longer than immediately starting to smash down. This will help everything not stick and give you a really good seamless smash. I have this, the left side of my flat top intentionally very hot for all that crispiness that I want on my ground beef. But then on this side, I have it a little less raging hot for the scrambled egg portion of our breakfast sandwiches. Now that I've let that sear for just, I don't know, that was like 30 seconds, that kiss of sear is going to help me smash these with ease. So, little bit of pressure down. So as I'm smashing, I'm kind of Wiggling that smash back and forth to help make sure that it's even so it cooks evenly. And then as these sausage patties cook up, they're gonna shrink inward a little bit so they'll be the perfect size for your biscuit. I'm using store-bought biscuits for these sandwiches this morning. This is just a tube biscuit that I cooked up, brought out here with me. It's a little tip for a quicker breakfast sandwich in the morning. I'm gonna get my eggs cracked and get my eggs rolling on the egg side of my griddle. So if I'm planning on making four sandwiches, I'm gonna go ahead and crack about five eggs to help give everybody a nice fluffy portion of scrambled egg on their sandwich. So find the happy warm spot over here for your eggs. I am using our cowboy spatula here because it's wooden and it has a really nice edge for some scrambled egg action on a flat top. I love this tool for this. So as these cook, I'm gonna just intentionally form them now and let them sit on this cooler side of my griddle. These look divine. I can see the crispy edges happening. So let's give these a flip. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna turn the heat down just a little bit, continue to move my eggs around and let these cook up. Okay, I'm gonna flip the eggs here 
And this is where you're gonna top this with cheese. I'm gonna do two pieces of Swiss, two pieces of American. I'm gonna go ahead and pull our breakfast patties. They look perfect. Oh my gosh, they smell delicious. You can smell the sage. I'm gonna let these rest right here while we let our cheese melt. And then those biscuits that I mentioned, I'm just gonna put them on the cooler side where the eggs are. Maybe a little kiss of tallow here. Heat them up a little bit. Look at this bubbling cheese. Oh my gosh. Maybe go ahead and we're gonna just portion our eggs now. Biscuits, cute, cute. Top this with the top of your biscuit for ease in building. So, right on top, one, two. Put your bottoms on the pan, right? This is for my family, so I'm gonna use my fingers, it's fine. Breakfast sausage patty on the bottom bun. Oh my gosh, the gooey cheese. Look how cute. Get your coffee, get your mimosa. Good morning, is what I have to say. Okay, so that was a look at a traditional breakfast sausage sandwich, but if you're looking for something a little spicier, a little hint of that warmth that you get from a chorizo sausage, let me show you an all beef chorizo sausage using ground beef, and let's make a breakfast torta. In this chorizo spice blend, we have cumin, paprika, chili powder, allspice, a little bit of oregano, salt and pepper, and cinnamon. So this morning, I'm gonna use 75% lean ground beef, which is so good for sausage in general, but also works really well on a flat top because it's easy to smash, it cooks up beautifully, and it seasons your, your flat top really beautifully. So look at this gorgeous certified Angus beef ground beef screaming to be made into sausage and we're doing it with one pound all of this onto the ground beef and this is gonna take just a second as you want to make sure it gets evenly incorporated this chorizo sausage recipe is one really fast but also elevated by using certified angus beef because of all of the marbling that our ground beef has once you see the very um, identifiable color that chorizo normally has. That's how you know this is incorporated well. As we put this on my seasoned flat top, this is going to cook up beautifully and give you that really traditional chorizo color that you know when you're cooking sausage. I'm gonna let it start to sear on one side like this, but I'm gonna intentionally keep it kind of chunky. I'm not gonna break this up and make it crumbly ground beef. I'm gonna keep this in chunky pieces. Look at all of this rendering already. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing, it looks amazing. Do about that much work on here. Let this get nice and crispy and start to sear up really nicely. This wooden spat is perfect for using on cast iron pans or griddles like this, and you can get this at shop.certifiedangusbeef.com. So I intentionally have one side of my flat top really low on the heat, and I have some hoagie rolls here that we're gonna use for our torta, and they're a little bit mayo. Tiny schmear of mayo in there, that's how I prefer to toast my bread. So I'm gonna get these toasting while we're caramelizing our sausage. This chorizo recipe is perfect for that 75 blend that I'm using because of all the marbling in there, because sausage inherently is a little bit richer. So now that I have a really nice crispy sear on some of these pieces, as you can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and just start breaking it up a little bit more. Okay, let's check our buns. Almost. Oh, cheese gorge. Yeah, a little crisp. Now that our sausage is probably 80% cooked, I'm gonna crack a few eggs on my cooler side of my flat top, and then we can start building once the sausage is fully cooked. I know we toasted with mayo, but I'm also gonna add a little bit more before we build our sandwiches. Using the back of a spoon, is how I firmly believe mayo should be spread onto things. Yeah? Looking good over here. Let's flip our sausage around. Oh my gosh. Who doesn't love the crispy piece of ground beef or that crispy edge on a sausage patty? That's why I'm intentionally wanting to keep these a little bit bigger and heartier chunk to it 
So there's more beefy bite to my sandwich and then all of that crispy seared beef is just gonna be very satisfying on this breakfast torta. Guys, when you're cooking outside on the flat top or even at the grill, it's nice to come out with everything already prepped so your building of your sandwiches, your whatever you're making is nice and seamless. So I have my cut tomato and my cut fresh avocado and a little bit of fresh cilantro to add to my breakfast torta. Let's build these. So let's start with beef. I'm gonna make sure, let's plan for three sandwiches. You can kind of eyeball what you'd like for each sandwich to have as far as the amount of beef goes. Look at that, hearty crumble. I love this, this is awesome. We're gonna come here, do a little egg action. These have cooked beautifully. Um, oh my gosh. So to top this, I'm gonna do a little fresh tomato. The spice in this beef chorizo is gonna be cut beautifully with this gorgeous avocado and the fresh tomato. This is a breakfast sandwich I would want every day of the week, for sure. And then a little fresh, fluffy cilantro on here. Oh my gosh. Just a little bit. Are you kidding? Look at this. So fast, so hearty. Certified Angus Beef Chorizo Sausage Breakfast Tortas.